Welcome to Spicoli's Art Auction, and thank you for turning in to our Mother's Day edition of Why You Should Support Local Artists. We are going to flip through a bunch of local art tonight at two minutes each. Please comment your bids in the comments as we move along. We want to thank all the people who participated last week. We had about 186 viewers. We had almost everything sell. We only had six items not sell from last week's auction. And our artists are hard at work making us more art. And we have a bunch of new uh, items this week and we'll have even more items next week. If anything from last week doesn't sell this week, we're gonna take that off the auction for a minute and return that in a couple of weeks. So you'll see all new items next week. I hope you gave your mom a big hug if you couldn't virtually or over the phone or send her a stupid email card that's what I got today. It wasn't good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to art. I'm going to say a bunch of wonderful things about the artist. And Zach Hagick, who's our co-host tonight, will be interrupting me with the bids and other information as we go along. Hi, folks. I'm just letting you know what my voice sounds like. So when you hear me, when you hear me talk, you know what I sound like. My name is Zach. Hi. And Zach has built this auction and put all these slides together. And we want to say thank Zach and all the artists for participating. Oh, stop. <laughs> Let's move on to the first item. All right. Go ahead. Okay. I can barely see that. I need my glasses. Okay. We, this is my friend Justin Pritchard's art, The Social Cult Inertia. Uh, Zach, uh, Justin Pritchard spends hours and hours and hours on each one of these prints, and he has donated all these prints to our Spicoli's auction to help launch our museum. Once we get open, you'll get, be able to see uh, Justin's items in our art gallery as well. You've got about a minute and 45 seconds to bid on social cult inertia, a conflict of interest. This print here is, is in here in the building. We can mail that to you. You can swing by the bar this week and pick it up. Starting bid at $20. Okay. Justin's a big supporter of local live music. The last time he was able to sell a bunch of these prints was at our 420 show last year. We're really bummed we didn't get to have one of those this year. We we're expecting Texas Hippie Coalition. Definitely looking forward to 420 of for 2021 non-pandemic year, right guys? Yeah. Bid on Justin's item for 20 bucks. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, really cool art passing through on on this one. Um, so Chris did say this. So this uh, was in last week's auction it did not sell but i know that it just means that we're it's waiting for the the right person uh to own this wonderful piece of art and that right person could very well be you um but uh it's as you can see it's really cool it's it's got a lot of uh distance uh work in there which not a lot of um i mean you don't see that a lot in art anymore at least i don't but um you have 30 seconds to make us stop talking and bid on this art. <laughs> and if you do not in the last 26 seconds, then we will move this one into the art gallery and we'll put it back up here in a couple of weeks. The next item is also by Justin Pritchard. It's coming up in here in a second. Let's get a final bid in in this final 17 seconds. If it wasn't copywritten, we'd be playing the Jeopardy theme song right now. <laughs> we would, but you can sing along at home. Last three seconds, and thank you very much, guys. We're on to the next item. All right, next item. This next item is also by Justin Pritchard. Sorry, Chris, I'm gonna take over for a minute. Um, this uh, this one's a new one. This is actually, out of all three of the ones that he's got in the auction, this one's personally my favorite. It's called Street Performer. It's a 12 by 18 print. Um, this one, is, it's as you can see, it's very colorful, very whimsical. It gives me a Dr. Seuss feel. Um, and uh, this would look great, uh, especially for, I don't know, it, it, I think it would look good in, like, in a kid's room or a playroom or even just your living room. Um, but uh, yeah, we're starting out the bid at twenty dollars. You have a minute and twenty-three seconds to take this one home. I have it sitting here in the bar. It is printed on cardstock. You can frame it. You can Velcro it to your wall. You can make sure to support local art for only twenty dollars in the comments right now. In the next minute. We're gonna talk real quick. While we finish up these oh, next 45. Oh, we got a bid 
Ryan uh, Ryan Fritz gives a twenty dollar bid. Fantastic. The, Ryan is a local musician. He's in a band that we all love called Illegal Smile. And I believe Ryan knows Justin and probably met him at last year's 420 show, if not other times, here at Spicoli's. You have 30 seconds to outbid Ryan. Anybody got a $21 bid? Or 22 or 23 you know. 25. <laughs> Calling it 25. I wish I was a certified auctioneer so I could speak with that super fast thing. I cannot do that. My tongue gets way tied. But we, but no, seriously, this is a great, great piece. Um, and uh, you have 15 seconds in order to make Ryan really sad. And oh, oh, we're that's at. <laughs> that's right, Ryan. You don't have to bid bid over yourself you don't there, have bud. To bid yourself. We're gonna stick at twenty dollars <laughs> to Ryan. We are done with this auction. And sold. We have uh, we sold for twenty dollars to Ryan. Thank you so much, bud. We appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the third piece by Justin Pritchard. This one is called Indifferent, um, and it is also a 12 by 18 print. Um, and uh, this one, as you can see, there's features a large uh, like flower style uh, piece. <laughs> as long Commentary as about the bidding over yourself in the comments. If you're following <laughs> along at home, Please make sure to like and or comment on people's comments. Cody Hageman is letting us know it's okay to outbid yourself. <laughs> uh, we have only one minute and 20 seconds on this print. This is actually my favorite of this of the three prints by Justin this week. I really love the colors and the deep purple in that flower. It's got a not quite Georgia O'Keeffe sexual feel to it. Mm -hmm. You know you want to take this one home. That deep orange feel is just overwhelming. And the figure, scarecrow figure in the back is, is very powerful as well. One more minute. Truth be told, I didn't even notice the scarecrow. <laughs> freaky. It is I freaky. Like it. But, <laughs> but um, <laughs> Ryan, we do appreciate that you're trying to give more money to a good cause. And uh, thank you so much for that. Um, we definitely appreciate you. We appreciate everybody here watching and, um, and making bids. Uh, how, how long do we have uh, left Three on the clock? seconds left. And real quick, to remind everyone following along at home, the way we're handling the payment on these auctions is these artists are giving us this starting bid. That is their minimum, and that's their guarantee, and that's what we give them. Just like a band on the stage, that's their guarantee. You got 20 seconds left for me to finish talking and you to bid on this piece. After the $20, we split the proceeds. So if this goes for $25, the artist gets $22.50, and we get $2.50. We feel that's fair. We love our artists. You have nine seconds to make Justin a happy man and take this one home. Five, four, and that is it. We're going to move this one to next week. All right. Go ahead and move on. Okay, so now we, uh, we are on to another artist that was featured in last week's uh, auction, dropped off some brand new stuff. This is Alex Miller. Uh, this first piece is a... Uh, a pop culture piece of uh, BoJack Horseman. This is a series of uh, Netflix. Uh, you can you can watch the entire um, the entire show. It's a very good show. If I'm speaking personally, uh, this is a 16 and a half by 11 print, um, and uh, it's a very fun, very very fun piece. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and start the bidding at fifteen dollars. You have a minute and 25 seconds to take this fantastic piece home. I love everything Alex Miller is putting out. I'm super excited to give him a place to market his art. I'm looking forward to hanging his stuff in the art gallery that we want you guys to come visit here as soon as we're off of quarantine. You have one minute and nine seconds to take home Bojack Horseman. I love this print. Hey, and for everybody following along who is not bidding, please like these artists on their Facebook and their Instagram pages. Follow along with these artists and give them some social media love. Sometimes that goes just as far as dollars, even in these hard times. You get those numbers up. And For it makes sure. A big difference. 45 seconds left on Bojack Horseman. I'm a little shocked you guys aren't bidding on this one. This is a phenomenal piece. And just remember, you do need to be logged into a Google account in order to comment YouTube's rules, not ours. So. Just for those of you who may be trying to comment, and it's, if it's not working, that's probably why. You have 25 seconds left. 
uh, and we, we'd like to quickly remind you that's why we're doing it on YouTube Live. We were to try Twitch and some other services as well. The Facebook Live just had way too much lag and the watch parties are a pain. 11 seconds on Bojack Horseman. We'll put him up next week if you guys don't bid on him. I'm sure we can get him some love if we post this throughout the week on our Facebook page. One more second left. Okay, we're going to repost that one next week. I cannot believe you guys missed out on the Bojack. I'd take it, Alex, but I know we can make good money. I'll post it all week long. Next one up. It's the only thing stopping me from buying it myself. I know, right? <laughs> Same thing that blew my mind. Okay, what do we got up next? So our next one, this is my favorite title ever because it's so literal. This one is called Flowers Where Your Face Should Be. Um, this is an 11 by 14 print, and um, again, we are starting the bidding on this one at $15. Um, this is a very, very eerie print uh, just because it's so dark and gloomy. But then you get the flowers in the face, and it's kind of gives a little bit of brightness, but a little bit of weirdness at the same time. And but it's, it's flowers in the face, and Where so your face should be. yeah. So, uh, but no, if I um, if if I were you, I would jump at this one. I think this is a great piece, and we're only and it's only at starting off at fifteen bucks. It's a steal. One minute and ten seconds left on flowers where your face should be. I agree with Zach. I love this piece. It makes me have that same feeling metal music does, right? Mm -hmm. It gets like dark and creepy and gothic, and yet there's flowers where your <laughs> face should be for $15. <laughs> 54 seconds left, guys. Make sure to give Alex some love. He puts out really fantastic work. I hope every week he's making new stuff for us all the time. And there's a bid. Yep, twenty dollars. Oh, twenty-two. Get by by Gabby coming in there. Um, twenty by Cassidy, and then outbid by Gabby at twenty-two dollars. Thirty-four seconds left at oh, twenty-two dollars. And we got another got another bid. Cody Hagman at twenty-five. Twenty-five bucks for flowers where your face should be. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I think we can go a little bit higher though, folks. I, we can. Twenty-eight dollars. Yeah. Nice. We love it. Eighteen seconds left. And Alex Miller, you keep that up. I hope you're at home making art right now and watching along with this auction. Clock is ticking. We got about 10 seconds left on the docket if you want this piece. Oh, and we got $30. Four seconds, and Cassidy takes it home for $30. Nope. 31, 31 and, and that's the it. Clock Gabby is, it. and we are sold. Thank you so much, Gabby. Appreciate it. Hey, guys, I really appreciate you doing that. I love Alex's work. I love all these artists' work, and that's a great price for this print. All right, we got one more by Alex, and we're gonna be swinging it through. This one is called Marlboro, like the famous cigarettes. And we already got a bid, Edward Badhorse, fifteen dollars. Thank Before you, sir. Before we even told you, it was fifteen dollars. <laughs> we got Edward in on here with fifteen dollars. I love this creepy ass picture. To be Good fair, job, Chris, they can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it is so great. Um, I don't. Have you guys seen that old movie with called uh, Thank You for Smoking? I've heard of it. I've never actually seen it, though. I need to see a it. Fantastic, fantastic movie about uh, lobbyists. This movie, this piece of art makes me think of that movie over and over again. I love the details. I love the perspective. He is super good at, at what he does. Mm -hmm. His art is just top-notch stuff. One minute and 15 seconds left on the Marlboro. Maybe you have a family member and... Uh, they smoke, and you think they smoke. <laughs> and this is their present <laughs> from you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Maybe they love it and hang it in their garage forever. It's okay. It's very true. Uh, Edward's going to take it home for $15 and 53 seconds if you don't outbid him. And again, like Chris said earlier, this fit, this um, the starting bid amount uh, goes directly to the artist. So we're trying to um, support um, support local art. Um, as much as we can. We may be a live music venue, but we love art of all kinds. So um, we want to we want to support them just as much as we support our musicians. So definitely um, help you know throw in throw in for the good cause and get some nice art to hang on your wall. That's right. We have 24 seconds left. The artists in our community are as impacted as live music is. They don't get to have their art fairs. They don't get to have farmers markets. They don't get to have festival festivals. You know, all our, our county fairs are canceled. So we are here for them, and you are here for them. And Edward's about to take this home in seven seconds for $15. Three, two, one. Sold. Thanks, guys. Next one up. 
just waiting for it to. Another one for Zach Hagen, big shout out. He has put these whole all these slides together every week. He has put dozens of hours in every week to make this happen. We really appreciate his social media, graphic arts, and uh, internet marketing background. It makes a big difference. I do my I do my best for what I love, Chris. All right, so this one, these next two actually, I am very impressed by. So this uh, this new artist, uh, she's brand new to these auctions. Her name is uh, Suzanne, I believe in this case that's how it was pronounced, Suzanne Morgan. These are hand drawn. These are prints, but like these are not the originals. But the original is hand drawn, and uh, she actually told me via email this took her over 125 hours to make. Um, and uh, it's it just it blows me away, and we're gonna go ahead and start. We we're gonna because of all the work and time it took into this nine by twelve print, we're starting the bidding off at fifty dollars. This one is my favorite, maybe one of the, my favorites of the whole entire auction. Uh, I'll I'll definitely call out my favorite here shortly because I might bid on it myself. <laughs> but this one, I would love to see one of these prints in the our museum. Uh, of course, in our venue when we reopen post-pandemic, I love everything about this this print. And like Zach said, you can see all that fine detail. Anyone who's ever done any kind of traditional art knows how many pen hours are involved in Suzanne's work here. Mm -hmm. She is also a huge live music fan. Uh, she is friends with quite a few of the live music fans that come regularly to Spicoli's. She comes here regularly as herself. I uh, just absolutely love, love her and her fantastic husband happy to have her be part of our local artist scene 34 seconds left $50 this is a larger print definitely frame it it would be appropriate in any room of your house or as a gift to your favorite local musician 20 seconds if we don't get any bids on this we will most certainly offer it up next week if you'd like to share next week's auction with your friends, we can expand the reach and get more people interested in what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. Seven seconds left. Three, two, one. one. Thanks, guys. All right, and uh, we'll go ahead and cycle that one through the next week's auction. So if you are listening to this after the fact, you're like, oh, I would have loved to buy that. You have another shot. That's right. This one is another one of Suzanne's uh, pieces. This one, if I am not mistaken, correct me if I am wrong, this one is a form of art known as pointillism. This is where you, they take all the little dots and make something even uh, something super cool out of it. This is a lotus flower. This is another 9 by 12 print. Um, another, I think she said like 80 or 90 hours into this one. Um, and so like it's a lot of work. We're going to start the bidding off at $50. I find this one extremely inspirational, and I think that other local artists at home creating art would enjoy this one on their wall as well. It just has a lot of detail to it. It gives you so much to look at, so many things to just kind of fall into over and over and over again. Only $50 for this fantastic piece of art. You have one minute and 18 seconds left. We really want to thank everyone who's been so kind during this shutdown who's reached music in all forms. We want to support all our local artists. As you probably have noticed, there's quite the uh, crossover between our traditional artists, our graphic and online digital oh, artists. Oh, we have a bid. Sorry to cut you off there, Chris. Yay. Jamie Jamie Cousy at $50. Thank you, Jamie. It's a fantastic choice. 36, 35 seconds to bid Jamie. But, and again, all these artists are following along online. They're bidding on each other's art. And I don't know anything better than that other than when you see local musicians up front supporting their friends, bands, every single time. Mm -hmm. 18 seconds left, $50. Yeah. I can tell you, especially as one of those said local musicians, it, it feels really good. So Seven um, seconds, I think that. Jamie, this one's yours. And Four. three, two and sold um thank you so much jamie for your patronage and just supporting the arts we really appreciate it um so uh we're gonna go ahead and move on next one up this is our friend ashley zumak she does quite a, just super impressive tie-dye work we had this item up last week. I was very surprised it didn't sell. 
But you guys are getting ready for spring, right? I know it's a little cold today, but it's not going to be. You have a full tie-dye hippie set for your summer activities and camping and lounging around the house. Get out and do your gardening in these fantastic cami size large leggings, extra large junior. Starting the bid at $20. I have this item in the bar. You can pick that up this week or I can ship it out to you in the US mail. You can pay for any of our items via PayPal. You can also contact us via the phone and pay over the phone with a credit card if you'd prefer, or you may pick up the item in person and pay cash. One minute, 10 seconds left on this item. And our phone number is on our Facebook page. Uh, message our Facebook page, and I'll probably have you call my cell phone. We don't answer the bar phone. <laughs> no one's ever here. If you hadn't figured that part out yet, you probably knew this was police. Uh, 20 minute, $20 left, and not very much time left on this item. Ashley does fantastic work. I mm -hmm. took the baby onesies home for the very next baby shower I have to go to. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. I don't go to those. I just send presents. <laughs> Usually money. Maybe onesies are better. 34 seconds left. And at $20 for two pieces, that's actually pretty darn good. It's a smoking, smoking deal. Ashley's donating all of the proceeds back to Spicoli's. Ashley's a huge live music fan. Mm -hmm. She is missing her medal. She is missing her friend. She's missing that pit. She's missing all the activity over at the merch tables. 14 seconds left. We miss Ashley. Ashley's a big supporter of everything we do. Six seconds. Okay, well, this one, we're going to wait a couple weeks before you see this one again, guys. But... We will carry Ashley's items in our gift shop. And if you are looking for a very, very special gift, a very special tie-dye gift, make sure to hit her up for a custom um, commission. Pan Painting Panda Creations on Facebook. Uh, and Ashley's a, a big supporter of everything we do. Moving on. Ashley made this item specifically for this auction, guys. What a fantastic, extremely large tapestry. This thing is huge. Beautiful item. We have it here in the bar. Beautiful item dropped off by Ashley this week. Only $50 for this large hand tie-dyed tapestry. And we already have a bid, Edward Badhorse, at $50. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes. I'm certain you and your wife would love this item. Absolutely beautiful work Ashley does. Uh, Edward is in a band, one of our favorite bands, 404. Yeah. Uh, we miss him, we miss his whole band, we miss the entire scene, and he of course knows how important all this is to everyone out there. One minute and 11 seconds to outbid Edward on this item at $50. Beautiful, beautiful tapestry. Do we hear 51? Or even $50.50? And 50 cents? Uh. Uh, one minute left. When you guys, I know all of you have friends, relatives, sisters, brothers who are artists who are not marketing their art, who, uh, you know, artists are, are very good at what they do. They're not always good at marketing. And that's what we're here for, guys. Mm -hmm. We have 12,400 Facebook fans and a pretty large a YouTube following as well. We really want to help you guys out. So let's get those subscriptions or uh, submissions in. We get those in those future auctions. 37 seconds left. And I think Edward's going to take this home unless you outbid him. $51 and uh, it could be yours and not Edward's. 26 seconds. Thank you again, Ashley. It's just so pleased with all the stuff you've been doing and how much you support Spicoli's. You're always out there on social media saying nice things about us. You come to all the shows, and that's that's the highest form of compliment we could ever get. Mm -hmm. uh, 11 seconds left. I think it might be yours, Edward, with only three seconds. Two, one, sold. All right, and boom. There we go. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> yes, it is. Very, yes, yes, it, it is. is. Well, the color scheme is very cold, but definitely hot, sir. Thank you so much for, for helping support the arts, as, as you always do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on. This is another um, artist that was in <laughs> in the mix last, last week. This is uh, India, um, and with her resin work, this is a star pendant. And um, oh, and we already already have a bid. We already have we already have bid. Beth looks Two like bids. looks like Beth Meyer was in first um, with twenty five dollars. Uh, so we do have uh, we do oh, and Edward comes back with thirty. All right, 
Um, yeah, this is, uh, I believe this can be set up to just about any size on your, on your neck or, or what have you. Um, and, uh, you know a lot more about her, her resin work than, than me, sadly. I want to learn more. I need uh, to. India has amazing molds and puts together very sparkly, very 3D, in-depth, detailed pieces of art. So when you're wearing one of India's pieces, you're definitely going to get compliments. People are going to notice what, what you have on, and they're going to make, make remarks, uh, about how beautiful they are. She takes her time with all her resin work. So you're saying they're, com they're good conversation pieces. Very much so. This piece is uh, demonstrated on her hand, so you can kind of see the size there on your palm. Uh, it's, a, it's a larger piece than some of her other ones. We are still at $30. I look forward to seeing Edward's lovely wife wear this item if anyone doesn't outbid him. Or Edward could wear it too, if he wants. Actually, that works for me as well. <laughs> I very much would like to see that. 31 <laughs> seconds left. India also is a concert photographer. She is unfortunately out of work doing that work, just like the rest of us in the music industry. So she's pushing out some more art to support uh, Spicoli's, to support live music, to support her other art. These minimum prices go right back into buying more materials so she can make more art for everybody. We 11 got 11 seconds. Yep, yeah, we got 11. We got less than 10 seconds if anybody wants to outbid Edward. Four seconds, guys. And that's sold. All right. Thanks. Give it a second. Thank you again, India. We really always appreciate your art. India is mailing these out for us, sending us these photos. And she actually knows how internet marketing works very, very well. We appreciate mm -hmm. her participation. Next item up. And all right, so we are back to the earrings. Uh, our last we noticed uh, last auction that our the earrings that were submitted went were very very popular, um, and these are our leaf earrings. earrings. Um, and uh, poison ivy, Zach. I think kinda, I, I well, looks like poison. Ivy. Well, you know, it's definitely it's definitely going to give you some kind of effect. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, we, it, it, we're in an open society. You got one minute and <laughs> seconds to take these awesome earrings that are appropriate all year long, but definitely in 420. <laughs> uh, only $25. Make sure to like India's art pages on Facebook and Instagram. Even if you're not buying her art today, send that love her way. Boost those numbers, share her stuff, hit her up for custom commissions. She puts together some just amazing stuff. One minute left on the leaf earrings. I'm not going to lie. Part of me wanted to title these 420 earrings instead. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. <laughs> but no, honestly, uh, these things are awesome. I don't even wear earrings. I haven't since I was a kid, but I'd probably wear at least one of these. Remember the mushroom earrings, guys? I took that one home for my 16-year-old son, and he is wearing one mushroom earring. That's a true story. He's very proud of it. Only $25, and India will get these in the mail to you just right after you pay for them. If you're out there on Facebook and you see some of the best concert photography on the Spagulis page, there's a high probability those pictures are India's. She knows what she's doing. She's a hell of an artist. 23 seconds left for leaf earrings. <laughs> if you want something a little more special, a little different, a little certain colors, just hit uh, India up and she'll make you something and get that in the mail to you. Only eight seconds left. We'll throw these on next week's auction. Five, four... And that's it. And the, leaf, the leaves are cycling another season. All right, let's go ahead and... <laughs> we'll see them next Sunday. So speaking of earrings, as I said, we have a couple different options here. We've got um, another uh, couple more submissions here by our friend Dawn Tuve. Um, she is the one that made the mushroom earrings that everybody liked so much last week. And these uh, are just as cute honestly these are probably my favorite ones out of the ones that she's made uh these are the owl uh, owl earrings are fused glass beads and we're just we're starting off the bidding with at just five dollars next we'll keep adding uh india is going to bring us some more cool stuff you're definitely going to bid on these owl earrings at only five dollars i'll throw them in an envelope for you and put a stamp on them and they Beth Meyer, five dollars. Yes, these are adorable. Dawn wants to make it clear that she did not use the glass beads herself. These are beads she purchased and she put them together. Uh, glass fusing is a really cool thing. You can do it with a tabletop style um, kiln. It takes a lot of practice. Dawn and I've talked about it, but she did not make these. She just put them together. They're fantastic. They are currently at five dollars with one minute left. Owl earrings. Who? <laughs> <laughs> They're really 
really adorable. They are. I, I hung them on a folded po uh, sheet here so you guys kind of could see the size and see how they would hang next to your next to your face. Really, really cute. Because these are a, pretty much the same size as the mushroom ones, right? They're they about are. like they're less than an inch long. They are less than an inch long. Totally adorable. Uh, for the owl fan in your family, this is the ultimate gift, guys. We got 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds, and you can have them. Six bucks. I'll bid Beth. Do it. <laughs> we love these. I think Beth might get these at only 20 seconds left. We have a couple more pairs by Don, and they're going to come up here in just a second. Don is a metal artist as well. Uh, she does a a lot of different kinds of art. Huge, huge pieces. They would barely fit inside this building all the way down to these tiny earrings. Oh, six and, seconds. Be and Beth Meyer came back. Well, we get Edward came at six. Beth Meyer's back at ten. And sold to Beth. All right. Ten dollars. Quick bidding. I like that, guys. Yeah. Keep it up. Bah. All right. Sold. And give it one second. And boom. All right. So now uh, we got some duck earrings, Quack. Um, and we already have a bid of five dollars. Edward Badhorse, nice job, buddy. These duck earrings are fantastic. Uh, they're so so cute, tiny, oh, adorable. Cass Cassidy Simmons at ten dollars. All right, ten dollars. You know you got a duck fan. One of my favorite Facebook person people. I don't even know who it really is. Oh, Squack McDuck. Squack McDuck. You guys, Squack follow, McDuck, you guys yeah. follow Squack? Love Squack. Edward Badhorse at $11. $11 for these duck earrings. Super yeah. cute. I'm friends with Squack on Facebook, too. He, he or they, they really uh, really put out a lot of the best duck-themed memes, memes, memes yeah. ever. Um, so much so that I now look for duck memes, so I personally could share them back. <laughs> I do. $15. <laughs> Cassidy Simmons and the Ducks. One minute and 13, 12 seconds. 12 Quickly falling down there at sixteen dollars. I love the duck earrings. Cassidy Art's coming up as well. Cassidy puts out fantastic work. Mm -hmm. She is engaged to one of my favorite drummers. We'll talk more about her coming up. Fifth, fifteen bucks still, and fifty seconds left on the duck earrings. Fused glass beads. Anybody out there ever try fused glass before? Art artists, let us know. Let's give it a shot. And if, and if you know somebody that you think, because uh, we have all, all of our items that are on this list are in the comment or on, in the description uh, box below. So if you know anybody, like if you're looking through the list and you're like, hey, my uncle Jim would like that, send, send this link to your uncle Jim and that way he can, uh, he can bid on stuff himself or give it to him as a, or bid on it for him as a present. Absolutely. Either. 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds, $15. We're almost done with the ducks. Yep, uh, Cassidy could be taking these home at $15 in less than five seconds. Three. One. And sold. Thank um, you, Cassidy. Yep, Cassidy, we, you are going to go home or be sent, whatever, some <laughs> uh, awesome uh, duck earrings. Thank you so much for your support. Hecking, yeah, we agree with you. All right. So now, this is the since these items are so small, we just went ahead and threw them all into the same same bucket. These are frog frog earrings. They're frogs on. Looks like I don't know. If, are those supposed to be lily pads or? I'm, I'm not, not sure what the frogs are on, but they're fused glass. Yeah. With a tiny glass bead at the bottom with adorable cute eyes. They're very small. They're a little bit smaller than the ducks and the owls. They're flat. They're definitely for your favorite duck fan at only five dollars. <laughs> One minute, 33 seconds on the on the little frogs. Super, super cute. My cousin Holly is celebrating her Mother's Day today, and uh, she's a huge frog fan. So if these don't get snatched up, I don't think they're going to be on next week's auction, guys, because <laughs> I'm going to have to take the frogs home. There's only one pair of the frogs. We do have some more mushrooms coming up, and Dawn is in process of making some more feather ring earrings for next week or the week after. We will certainly be carrying Dawn's art in our gift shop, and you'll be able to come through and pick up some Dawn earrings when we get opened up. You got one minute. Five dollars with Beth. Beth, you're going to love these, and your little munchkin is going to love these adorable earrings on your ears. Just got to keep her from pulling on them because she's so cute and little. <laughs> you only got 47 seconds to outbid Beth on the frog earrings. Yeah, just keep it out of her grasp. These frog legs are not edible. They are not, <laughs> and they are glass, and they are totally adorable. They'll sit on the tip of your finger. They're so cute. 
32 seconds. We don't. And there might be bats. Unless somebody wants to come and snatch them up. It is... Uh, <laughs> Not me- edible. <laughs> 22 seconds left. You know, it, it is it is, it, it is Mother's Day. It may be the day of, but, you know, you still have a chance to pick up a super last-minute slash late Mother's Day present for your mom. If your mom likes frogs, she'll love these. Eight seconds left. How about your grandma? I know you can't see her, but you can mail them. Or that Three a- seconds. Or that aunt that <laughs> is a, more like a mother figure. To any women in, women in your life or guys that like to wear earrings. But we are sold <laughs> for $5. $5. Next one up. You really need to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we're having fun over here, yeah. guys. We wish you could be here with us. Next one up. We like to have fun here at Spicoli. <laughs> when we finally get reopened up, guys, maybe we could do these auctions with a little live audience in the background. <laughs> we just can't let you in just yet. Yep. So these were so popular last week. Uh, Dawn actually made us another another pair. We're, we're going to give it another shot. So if you wanted to buy them last week and you missed out, here's, here's your chance. And we already got Alex Miller at $5. I love these adorable little earrings. And yes, they are cool. And yes, my 16-year-old son wore his earring today to Arby's. Uh, Real people eat Arby's. It's my kid. They got, mushroom they got the meats. He had the mushroom. <laughs> we hope to feature some of his art at another time. I love these earrings. We love Dawn. Uh, many of you have seen Dawn up front for shows as well. She does some concert photography, and she's very, very good friends with everyone in Gus Royale and Hazer mm-hmm. and other local bands. She's kind of our local celebrity. One minute and 14 seconds. Dawn brings me flowers. Yeah. I've never seen flowers on my desk. There's a 99% chance that Dawn brought them to me. She is one of my favorite people. She got. A, she got. A, has a good eye for color. It proves with these earrings. I it mean, does. It does. Even it's though she did. Seconds. Even though she didn't put the beads together, they're still great color and they're really cute. Um, like I said, like I don't. I haven't worn earrings since I was in like elementary school. I was a very adventurous fourth grader. Um, <laughs> But uh, I would, if I still had a hole in my ear, I would probably wear this one. 38 seconds. Otherwise, Alex Miller's going to take these adorable earrings home. She doesn't have very many of these beads left. She said that uh, she'd try to round some up in the future if we wanted to carry them in our gift shop. And we most certainly will be looking forward to doing Facebook Live. We look forward to having yep. all of us back together again online or in person. Make it 10. 10 on the earrings. 15 seconds. Alex Miller whose art has already been featured and always sells well. $10 on the mushroom earrings, and that's about to sell in six seconds. Three, two, $11, Evan Meyer. Up oh, 12. 12. Alex got it. Right in the nick of time. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Evan. Next time. There is a lag there, but, <laughs> yep. Sold. All right. Good job, guys. I love that. Yeah. i uh, all right, so there we go. Um, so this is uh, ah Dutch. Yeah, sorry, buddy, but um, good try though. Good try. We appreciate the hustle. So um, this is uh, another one that was featured in last week's auction. This was actually pretty cool. It's by Kendall Alquay. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I butchered it, I'm sorry. Um, I really am. Amazing work. Amazing yes. Amazing work. Love everything that Kendall's putting out. I love this table. If it doesn't sell, I'm going to have to talk to Kendall about featuring it in our museum. It's exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking for. you got one minute and 22 seconds to brighten up your living space with that stimulus money, baby. Especially if you're a musician, I could honestly see this being in a practice space. Oh, absolutely. You throw down a coaster, and it is a fully usable table. $300 is a steep price, but it's not. When you're talking about hand-painted, fully functional, upscaled, Beautiful, beautiful art. So much detail in Kendall's work. It's got a face on it. It's really cool. <laughs> it's a little freaky and fantastic. 52 seconds left. If we don't uh, sell this tonight, we will definitely be talking to Kendall about featuring it later on in upcoming auctions and then again in our art gallery where you can come in and see it in person. I think that'll make a big difference for you guys when you can see the quality and uh, run your hand over it mm-hmm. and see how it'll fit in your space. And three seconds. And I would definitely, we, well, we would definitely recommend uh, checking Kendall's art out on Facebook. Uh, you can see that there on the, on the slide. Um, he does have a, a Facebook page with all of his other pieces. Um, so you definitely check it. Pretty she. Sure. Pretty sure. 
that handles a girl. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> but oh, we have backwards. a we have a bid three hundred dollars with Hell Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. Dropping uh, down the box. We appreciate it. It's a really cool ta table. Jamie is hanging out with Justin Pritchard, and she just bought that. And sold. Nice job. Right in the right in this landslide there. Um, so thank you so much, Jamie, for uh, for supporting the arts and buying this really cool table. When you guys come down to pick up your other stuff, we'll make sure Kendall drops that table off, and we'll do a big old switcheroo of all the art guys. Yep. Love that. Love speaking, that. speaking of Kendall, this is another piece. This is a so this is mixed media in an antique frame. This is called Bluebeard. Uh, this was also featured last week. Um, it did not sell, uh, but this is made with uh, acrylic paint, um, tissue paper, um, and a, like a bunch of other stuff that. Um, yeah. Uh, compliments coming in in the comments right but uh so this is this is uh 24 by 36 this is pretty big Two feet um by three feet. yeah big canvas, guys. yeah and um it is with an antique like a verified antique frame uh we're this one's also starting at 300 dollars. but if you really think about it that's a very fair price for for something like this this would look really cool in like a family room um and you if you really wanted to start a conversation piece you're looking at buying a house this is uh, one way to brighten up those walls and get everybody together in your new brand new family room you got one minute and five seconds to take this phenomenal piece home i don't think that digitally we can quite give this piece of art justice mm -hmm. the frame is gorgeous it has a depth uh and a 3d factor to it we just quite can't uh capture on the digital slide we love love your work kendall we love everybody's work this is such cool stuff I don't know where people's imaginations take them, but this, this just blows me away every time. Make sure to like that Facebook page and share the uh, artist's art. If you can't afford to buy art, share art. Yeah. And uh, as I would say on a personal note, as a bearded man, <laughs> I can really appreciate this, uh, this, this piece. The long, you know, beard, uh, a, good, a good beard appreciates a good beard. So... <laughs> And I will say that Zach's beard has come back in nicely. He yeah. shaved it all the way off last fall, and he's back to the full beard. Ten seconds left, and you can have the blue beard in your house. I no longer look like I'm 14. So, <laughs> um, but, yep, we got let, three, two, one, and the bearded man's going to go into hibernation for a little while. Uh, we'll bring that back out, and we'll talk to Kendall about hanging that where you guys can walk in and see it in real life. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Next one up. This is a black and white abstract 16 by 20 canvas spill painting, right? That's yeah. Pour yep. painting, spill painting by our friend Shay. Uh, Shay was a bartender here. She does quite a few different jobs. Uh, she's a very, very talented artist. $30 for this larger canvas. These colors are metallic and they jump right off the page. Mm -hmm. One minute and 30 seconds on this black and white abstract. It has a lot of silver and glitter sparkle to it that just yeah. uh, comes across when you see it in real life. Yeah, it definitely will not blend fully blend in with everything on your walls for that that's for sure. It's gonna it's really gonna jump out. You you have company over and they'll be like, Whoa, where'd you get that? And you'll be able to say, I got that through Spicoli's art auction. That's right. Supporting local artists and supporting local musicians so we can all be together again for shows. Only thirty dollars for this piece of art. The smaller one sold last week. We didn't get quite get this one sold, but we'll be sure to work with Shay in the future. I know she's making even more art as we speak. Mm -hmm. You can hit her up on Facebook and buy art from her as well as she continues to make custom pieces and uh, pieces as she moves along. Yep. Uh, we got 40 seconds left on the clock. Uh, starting this off at $30 for a 16 by 20 uh, canvas. This is actually a painting for a good, this is a good size painting. Um, so $30, like if you went out and bought just like a cookie cutter art thing from like Hobby Lobby, like you can, you'd be spending more than that for something like this. $30 is actually quite fair, um, for a starting bid. And, um, so we have, we have 15 seconds left to make that starting bid. If this one doesn't sell, we'll be sure to feature it again. And like I said, we'll bring Shay's art into the gift shop. We're going to move on now in four seconds to the next item. Three, two, one. Uh, Thanks, Shay. All right. New artist alert. 
I have been waiting all week for this piece of art. Hey, Cassidy, we love you. <laughs> But really, though, I love this piece. Are you got one minute and forty-eight seconds? Stop. And we are, and we are, and we are. <laughs> it already happened. And we already have a bid. Thirty dollars that with Beth Meyer pulling in the pulling it out of the gate. Thirty-five. And, and with 30, Edward. Yeah. Any anybody who likes Star Wars definitely jump at this. Beth Meyer back with forty. Um, I remember. Uh, so I'm friends with Cassie on Facebook, and I remember seeing this piece in my fifty oh, 50, bucks. My initial like. A, a, my initial thought was, I'm going to ask her to put this in the auction, and I didn't even have to, because <laughs> next thing I know, email pops up. Oh, look, there's it, there it is. Like, Cassidy got engaged on our stage to one of our favorite drum, uh, drummers in the yep. entire area, and that would be Evan Noodlemeyer himself. Yeah. Noodle proposed and sang a love song to the lovely and gracious Cassidy. Who knew what an awesome, awesome artist she was. Yeah. I love this piece. And R2-D2 is at 50 bucks. Yep, and all proceeds go to Spicoli's. Thank you very much, Cassidy. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you and your lovely fiancé, and I can't wait till you two are a married couple. And we got 40 seconds left on the clock. 40 seconds to outbid Jake. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> I love the combination of music and art and art and music, and we hope to continue this forward uh, indefinitely. Yep. And that's why we're moving in that direction towards the museum as well as a concert hall. 26 seconds left outbid Jake. Got Got to be a Star Wars fan. I love this piece. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Zach. Uh, 14 seconds. <laughs> but, uh, but no, seriously, get uh, go on and... Um, we got le five seconds left. If anybody wants to outbid, uh, outbid Mr. Bad Horse, and actually it looks like he is going home with the R2-D2. Fantastic. This is definitely the droid he was looking for. So we're going <laughs> to... The corny jokes are what I live for. <laughs> Next item up, also by Cassidy. Oh, dad jokes are my bread and butter. <laughs> All right, anybody who knows me well enough will know this. And this one's actually one of my favorites as a fellow Vikings fan. Um... It, this is Vikings Victory. Uh, this is on a 20 by 24 canvas. It's pretty much the same size as the R2-D2. Uh, but we're start. But this one has a lot more color, uh, or a lot, a lot more meaning behind it. In my view, if you're a, if you're a Vikings fan, you will share this opinion with me. Um, we're starting the bidding off at $35 on this one. Um, and also, uh, we never mentioned this before, definitely check out uh, Cassidy's art page. Uh, she just made it recently. Um, it's Cassidy's Creations. You can see it there on the page. Um, Go ahead and check out our other stuff. Um, give her, give her some love. Like we said, guys, you got one minute and twenty seconds to take home Viking victory. If you yourself are not a Viking fan, and shame on you. I mean, <laughs> actually, I don't care. I don't, I don't watch football. But you know someone who is. We all do. We all have a Viking fan in our lives, and you know you want to buy this painting and give it to that Viking fan. Oh, in Beth. The next minute. Beth Meyer at thirty-five. I'm not surprised about that whatsoever. Uh, Beth, are you? a Viking fan or is this a gift because I love this piece too <laughs> 35 bucks on the Viking victory uh, if anybody wants to claim their victory they just need to b bid more than $35 <laughs> let's support all these these artists and uh, I'm kind of bummed for the NFL fans uh, even though it's not my choice of activity I love all the time that everybody is spending on um, football and they miss their football and they miss the opening season coming up right I, I just really hope we can get this figured out so everybody can have their sports back 35 dollars yep. hey guys if you guys get your football back we get our shows back so yep. it's a trade right 35 dollars viking victory i'm ready we don't have to have super awkward um televised events with no uh no with audience. no audience it's the worst yeah five seconds left and i think four Beth is three home. two Thanks, Beth. You're fantastic. All right, and that is sold. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and move on. Uh, Beth, go ahead and send resend us your info via uh, Facebook or however, and we'll get you taken care of. So uh, this is another. So last week India gave us a painting. This week India gave us a painting, and we love it. So um, this one is it's another abstract uh, painting. Uh, it's very deep i like the metallic green flow to this one it's an eight by ten we're gonna go ahead and start the start the bidding at 25 dollars i also love the green in this one india that deep deep 
green just jumps off the page gives you so much to look at it's got a lot of depth to it like zach said only 25 bucks for another india painting so not just jewelry and not just concert photography and not just concert promotion and not just tour management and a little <laughs> bit of everything india's out there she's doing a little bit of everything for everybody make sure to like her pages share her stuff if you can't buy share one minute and nine seconds left on this painting Love comes in more forms than just money, but in this particular case, money is a very powerful form of love. So, 25 bucks, and you can love us, and we will love you. Yes. <laughs> Indy does great work. We're going to see more from her as the weeks go by, and we'll definitely be fe featuring her jewelry once we get opened up. Uh, 47 seconds left on this painting. Oh, real quick, as we finish up, 42 seconds, you know we love Noise from the Garage with mm -hmm. Alex. And that's coming up here in nine, nine minutes. minutes. So we're going to move our auction along as fast as we can so we can follow along with Alex. We want you to follow along with Alex, too, because all our friends are on that show. Yep. 27 seconds left. All right. Yeah, 20, $25 for, uh, I mean, it, it's a, for an 8x10 canvas, that's... Uh, that's, that's actually pretty good, um, in my opinion. Great um, conversation piece. Yeah. Great colors. A good chunk of me wants to bid on this myself. I just do not have room on my walls right now. <laughs> um, I really don't. But wow. otherwise, this would be this would be mine. This is actually a really cool conversation piece. But it's a conversation piece that will have to wait until next week because the time is up. Um, so uh, if any, anybody uh, is interested in this one and just did not get a chance to bid, definitely uh give it another run next week we are actually coming along uh towards the end of our show um and we're th we're gonna be doing three different pieces by calvin uh rosario rosario uh you have to let me know the pronunciation of your name there or your last name calvin so i can give it to you uh, correctly um but this is o oni darth mall um i've noticed that calvin is a really big fan of the like the japanese uh, culture style in his paintings it really shows and it's really cool um, and I, I talked to Calvin after his success last week and he told me that although he didn't have a bunch more prints he had a ton of originals all over his house this is an original guys yeah. got one minute and 20 seconds for 50 bucks an original painting not a print no one else will ever have a copy of it only you what a big deal this guy is such an impressive artist mm -hmm. such so many pieces he has. I look forward to seeing them throughout the next many, many weeks. Love Calvin's art. One minute left on this one. And this would be great for any, if you like Star Wars and you like, you know, Japanese culture and or anime in general, uh, definitely jump at this piece because this is everything all wrapped into one. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's just super cool. I, I really, really, really like it. It's just, fif just $50 to start off with. So go ahead and jump at it. And if you're not taking it home today, like we said, give Calvin a like on Instagram. Find him on Facebook. He posted a watercolor today that just made me giddy. I can't wait to see more stuff coming out of Calvin. Mm. 30 seconds left. $50. 11 by 14 original painting. What a great gift. Right? 17 seconds. If it doesn't sell, we'll feature it next week. And like I keep telling you, we'll be featuring all these artists in our art gallery when we get opened up. Yep. Seven seconds left. We're going to move on to the next piece. Three, two, one. And we're cycling to the next next piece. This one's actually, out of the three that he's submitted, this is my favorite. Um, it's it's bold. And despite having, like, a, despite having a pink background, <laughs> it's very, like, tough masculine. it's very masculine very tough this is a genie that like you want to just get your three wishes done and get get away because um you, he'll probably kill you but um this is tiger genie uh, uh, watercolor guys yep. uh, any artist following along with this auction knows how difficult watercolor is how unforgiving watercolor is mm -hmm. how you really have to know what you're doing before you put that brush on the paper original painting by calvin tiger genie like Zach said, very masculine, very powerful. Lots of detail in this one. And this is uh, 18 by 24, so this is like a poster size. This is a full. It's not like just some like dinky little picture. Although there, none of our pictures today have been dinky. No. But this is this is a this is a pretty large 
pretty large image, original thing, and we're starting the bidding off at $100. Uh, this is a one-of-a-kind piece, uh, and like Chris said with the, with the previous one, you, if you buy this, nobody else is going to have it. So That's right. When we talk about conversation pieces, and there's been so many of them today and in all our auctions, so many pop culture references, this one stands out for being absolutely unique, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful background, great depth, only 37 seconds left on Tiger Genie, and we're almost done with the auction tonight, guys. We just got two items left to go. 30 seconds please take home tiger genie if not if you want to think about it or you want to share this auction or you tuned in late and you missed the auction you will have a chance to bid on this tomorrow unless somebody snatches it in you, the next 17 seconds you mean next week next week that's right not tomorrow tomorrow's monday yeah yeah <laughs> but uh Nine seconds left <laughs> But at the same time, if you or if you are an artist or you know an artist that wants to start selling their work, hit us up. Uh, send us a message on Facebook. Um, this this item is now uh, closed until next week. But um, definitely hit us up on Facebook or you can you can send a an email to us. We will give you um, it's playspicolis at gmail .com. It will also be shown at the very end of the um, of the auction today. So if you want to write it down. Um, and send us uh, send us your submissions. We'll be more than happy to to help you out. Um, so this is a this is the final one of Calvin's uh, today. This is Tiger Dagger. Man likes his tigers, and I love it. Uh, this is an eight, 18 by 24 piece. Another poster size. Um, this is another original painting, watercolor. So it's as as Chris said. You know, it really, if you can make something like this with watercolor, it definitely shows your skill as an artist. Um, we're going to, we're starting the bidding off at $100. Got a minute and a half left. We love prints. We love digital. We love traditional. And we definitely love these originals. You guys keep making that art. I hope that we're inspiring you guys at home to make even more art. If you had taken a break from art and it's been a while since you've done art, I hope all these artists are telling you, you know, to get back to it because these artists are buying from each other. Mm -hmm. They're supporting each other and they're continuing to make more art and that's what we want from everybody. Just like we want you musicians at home practicing right. so that you're at your top of your game when we all get together again. We want you artists who gave up art years ago to get back to it. Only 50 seconds left on Tiger Dark Dagger. And Calvin, again, thank you so much. Keep sending us the originals. Keep sending us the prints. Keep up with your beautiful, beautiful art. 44 seconds left on Tiger Dagger. And then we're on to our final item, and we are right at that one-hour mark, guys. So I think we might be able to figure out what we're doing around here, Zach. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> this is our third week and second successful auction. The first one failed due to lag. We're getting this figured out. Let us know what you guys like to see us to do different. Yeah. Send us messages on Facebook or an email telling us how you'd like to do different. We got yep. 20 seconds left all on this item. We take all feedback into consideration. So. Yeah, we might not do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. If you know me, you know that. But I still want to know how you feel. Yeah. <laughs> you have seven seconds left. That's also why I'm on this board. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You might better want to hit up Zach. Um, this one's over. But... <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yep this so we are out of time on this piece but these three pieces you will see them next uh, you will see them next week so um definitely um send you know send these to your friends um and tell them about the you know the super awesome uh pieces of art and maybe they'll they'll then tell them they should jump in next week and right. uh for the bid so and this is our final piece for the for the night um this was in last week um and this is the biggest one we've got both literally and monetarily correct four foot by two foot original acrylic canvas by laura todd laura's all the way down in florida or i mean not florida in, in des moines area now a little bit closer follow, follow her on laura todd art on facebook and instagram laura is a longtime friend of spicoli's she played bags here years ago with me and my other friends she loves live music she brought her art to our art festival last 420, and, and I pretty much sold out. Uh, this item is the original. She has created prints of this. She's made, created magnets. I have mm -hmm. several of these magnets, stickers. This is for a real fan. If you guys are a Red Hot Chili Pepper fan or you know a fan, this is the item for that person. Yes, it's $450 because this is a giant, beautiful piece of art by a professional artist. 
Laura does amazing work. I can't wait to work with her on murals in the future. Basically, and this is actually on a serious note, if you want to consecutively A, win the Best Friend Award, B, make someone crap themselves, and C, be able to tell someone that they owe you for life, you should get your hands on this painting. And give it to your Red Hot Chili Peppers fans. you got 41 seconds left. I did see the Red Hot Chili Peppers back in the day, guys, and yes, they did have the socks and not <laughs> much else out on. It's a good time. That would have been at the Fillmore in San Francisco, probably about 1992, and that's how old I am. I was I one year saying. old. <laughs> Zach, Zach was one year old, and I was at Red Hot Chili Peppers. We've got <laughs> 21 seconds left, and we're going to move on to Alex at Noise from the Garage and all our favorite musicians. We miss you all. We have 14 seconds left. Like Laura's art and share it. Keep sending us new art. you got nine seconds left. Can't if someone wants to come in under the wire. Again. Three, two one all right well thank you so much laura for submitting this piece um and thank you to everybody for your consideration on this um we will talk to her about having this again in the future so if you are interested if you're interested in it ahead of time send us a message yep. um but uh that is actually our show for or our auction for today thank you so much for participating um and for watching and for hanging out with us um, we would love your feedback as we've mentioned uh, a little bit previously. Um, if you have any feedback for us, um, even if it's just, Hey, you guys need to shut up. Like, <laughs> please message it over. Yeah. Please text call message, private message and email all the art and all the fun. We miss you and can't wait till we can be together again. See you next Sunday. We yep. hope to do better then. And uh, make sure to go tune in to uh, Rock When Wait with Noise from the Garage as it is 7 o'clock. Have, have a great night, y'all. And we hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. Night. Hey. My butt hurts. Hi. We sold the stuff. Yeah. We sold some stuff. <laughs>